Hey guys, Deal Games here, and welcome back to what is my first ever commentary for Smash Ultimate. I had originally planned for this to be a live com with the boys in the Discord while we were playing these games, uh, but the way I had my audio track set up in Discord uh, just ended up not working for me. So I think I'll have that ironed out for next time, and I'll actually be able to get uh, everybody's live commentary on these matches. But for this one, you're just going to have to make do with me. So let's go ahead and get into the first game. In this one, I'm playing against Quack. I'm playing Mac. He's playing Pokemon Trainer, obviously. And I find Squirtle to be really hard to deal with as Mac because he's just so quick and his aerials combo into each other so well. So I really would prefer to play against Ivysaur or Charizard, even though Ivysaur can be difficult for Mac to deal with as well. You saw me at the ledge there, just go for a counter to try to uh, do something about that spike that he likes to throw out. And then uh, by doing that spike, I can stall in the air a little bit and then usually have time to throw out my recovery after he's uh, gone for the spike. Because Ivysaur can't go too crazy deep to get it, so that's why you'll see me try to wait it out a lot. Against Charizard, uh, I really like to have some space between me and him so that I uh, can do that and counter the Flare Blitz. Um, because I know he likes to throw out those Flare Blitzes quite a bit and they do so much damage. Uh, especially against Mac, it can be extremely hard to recover from since Charizard can go pretty deep to finish up the kill after he hits the Flare Blitz. There, I pretty much just had to eat that spike because I had already done my side B. Really nothing I could do about it. He read me really well there and knew exactly what was going to happen. So against Ivysaur like this, if I can throw out an F-Tilt, then I'll continue to apply the pressure with a, uh, a dash attack or a side B. Um, I probably should be down tilting a little bit more against Ivysaur and then going into my F-Tilt and then following that up with a side B. So that's something that you'll see me trying to do more in the future. Uh, another thing I like to do is uh, if I see somebody that's going to spot dodge my smash attacks, I'll run straight through it and then throw out a down smash or throw out an F smash in the opposite direction I was facing. Because um, usually the person will then be trying to turn around to face you, but you'll already be on the other side of them, hitting them with a smash attack. So there, that should have been a kill, but I accidentally did my downward tilted forward smash, so that didn't kill him. There, I just baited out the Flare Blitz. I was expecting to counter it, but uh, he did it too high, so I ended up just uh, just running with it, letting him go right off the side of the stage. Here we are playing against Squirtle. I thought that was F Smash, so I thought that was a free dash attack for me, but unfortunately not. And if you're not aware, Squirtle wears Super Armor on uh, on that little shell rolly thing that he does. I don't know what it's called, but he wears Super Armor on that. So even if I hit him with an F Smash while he's doing that, uh, it doesn't really do anything. So that can be a super hard move to recover from as Mac. But you can see there he just messed up and ended up winning the game for me. So let's go ahead and get into the next one. Alright, so this time we're playing against Harper's Ice Climbers. And I find these guys to be super hard to deal with as Mac because they're so disjointed. And while you're hitting a smash attack on one of them, the other can be punishing you for it. So it can be uh, a really challenging matchup. I do end up doing really well in this game though. I'm not sure how. For some for some reason, I thought I was going to end up losing this one. Um, but it was pretty dominant. So you can see there, I go for the KO punch on, on the blue one to try to make sure the pink one can't recover, but it doesn't work out for me. I just whiffed it. There, I'll just go for an F-Tilt. I'm looking for a KO option at this point, so you'll see me going for side B, F-Tilt, or forward smash. Tried to go for a forward smash there with super armor on it, uh, but that side B from Ice Climbers just stays out way longer than I expected. There he just missed, so I was able to easily punish that. There's a lot of landing lag on that move. And I guess he thought he was going to hit me with it uh, instead of trying to recover safe. So one thing you'll see me doing a lot as Mac that I don't see a lot of other people doing is um, I'll jump behind somebody or jump in front of them and really quickly throw out a smash attack just because nobody expects it. Um, so it works really well. Uh, nobody really expects you to have time to throw out a forward smash or... Uh, and up smash that quick. So a lot of the times you can just jump up, land right in front of them, throw out forward smash or F smash, and get a whole bunch of damage put on for it. Let's get on to the next game. Alright, so here we have game two with Quack. He's still playing the Pokemon Trainer. I'm still on the Mac. Miss a couple F tilts there, then finally get one in. Go for that easy down smash, because I know uh, at this percent he's just going to be kind of looking to try to get back on stage real fast instead of trying to recover safe. So I knew that down smash was a good option for me there. 
There I picked him up with uh, with up tilt, but I didn't really capitalize on it. Probably should have done um, an up B there to get some extra damage on. There I, uh, I saw his down smash, uh, and of course I have the super armor on my F smash, so that's pretty much a guaranteed kill for me there. I can just charge it, wait out his, uh, his charge as well. There he read my counter perfectly. He knew I was going to throw it out that time. And here he starts putting some pretty significant damage on me. Gets that forward throw. And you see me again recovering late there because I know with uh, Charizard he's going to be trying to throw out those flames and get me because I'm playing Little Mac. So I'll go for that really safe recovery. Uh, I was able to hit him under the stage and uh, make him stop spitting fire. Which gave me just enough time to get back to the stage. Throw out a few up tilts there. They combo really nicely into each other. So that's just a free damage builder if you can get one of those going into itself. So right here I've got KO Punch. Counter the Razor Leaf. Here I am looking for the KO Punch, but I didn't get it. Because uh, with that percent deficit, it could have been really beneficial for me to hit that KO Punch. Go up there, counter. I don't know why, but I expected him to Razor Leaf right there, so I countered it. He's looking for that spike, and that could have been really bad for me if he would have hit that. Because that would have uh, completely reversed the situation that we're seeing now. And he answers right back, reads my jump, knows what I'm going to do. Goes for that beefy Charizard back air. So here I'm just trying to stay faster than Charizard if possible. I'm waiting for the Squirtle to come back out. That move is uh, very hard to deal with, like I said, because it's got that super armor on it. So uh, Little Max uh, super armor can't counter it. There I waited for the switch. Just hit him with a nice F smash to close out the game. JB2. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Um, I intend to do videos in the live comm style next time, but like I said, my audio recording just didn't work out this time. So hopefully next time I play with the guys, we'll have uh, audio going for myself and in the Discord. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Deal Games, signing out.